woman knows all too well what it means to fight for her life. Not only is she a breast cancer survivor, but she's also a domestic violence survivor. Health reporter Haley Hernandez is joining us now with this woman's amazing story. Sounds like an amazing woman as it well. It absolutely is. And you know, we just ended the breast cancer uh, mm -hmm. awareness month, the domestic violence awareness month, but this survival story is just so incredible that we didn't want to lump it in with one just simply bringing awareness to those unfortunate circumstances. Antonieta Mendez is a testimony of how to invent a happy life when life has not treated you well. Remember how you used to look here? Oh, oh yes, Dr. Rosa, I don't want to see. It's That's dramatic for Antonieta Mendez to see a photo of herself post mastectomy. I don't want to remember back. That's because in 2003, this mother of two's cancer diagnosis did not include love and support. Instead, she says, an abusive husband got meaner and stood in her way of reconstruction. And he pinched me, said, no, and I scared him. After five years of misery, she says a doctor found extremely high levels of arsenic in her body. He gave me poison. Faced with allegations of abuse, she says her husband vanished and has never returned. So recently, she's felt free and confident. She found information on the Holly Rose Ribbon Foundation, first given to her at a time when she had to hide it from her husband. So one day, I'm following my clothes and I found out the number. <laughs> So she came here to see Dr. Rose, who, after hearing her entire story, surprised her and agreed to do her entire surgery for free. And she's come along nicely. We put in a tissue expander, put in a permanent implant. We still have a, a couple more stages to go on her, but she looks great. Mendez says she feels great, too, and agrees to share her story with us today to show her family how good things come to those who persevere. Just God hear me every day. All right. All right, honey. Thank I'm you so glad. much, Dr. Rose. Mendez says she never pressed charges against the alleged abuser. She says that she was concerned about the implications it would have on her children. Now, that can be a typical concern among victims, but that does not mean that anyone has to be secretly scared. There are anonymous ways to get help, and we're putting that information on click2houston.com. They can find it in this article under the health section. That's a great story. I like how yeah. Franklin Rose steps up to help women who are in this he, kind he of situation. He does. That foundation, yes. yeah, yeah, it does a lot does. of great charity work. He does. All right. Thanks. Haley, Thanks, thank you. Guys. Thank you.